We landed on Guadalcanal in August and took control of the Jap airfield. We called ourselves the Cactus Air Force. The Japs were well dug in and kept fighting for another six months. Our boys fought some of their hardest battles there in the jungle, including the Battle of Bloody Ridge. Off the coast of Guadalcanal, we managed to cut off their supply lines and stop them from sending more reinforcements. It wasn't until December that their emperor finally gave permission for their troops to withdraw. Clearing the threat in the Pacific was turning out to be a long and tough campaign, but at Guadalcanal, we stuck our foot in the door and it wasn't going anywhere. In April of 43, our codebreakers located Admiral Yamamoto, the guy who planned the Pearl Harbor attacks. He was going to be flying in a bomber near Bougainville. 18 lightnings from Henderson Field flew hundreds of miles and shot down his Betty bomber. Before the war, Yamamoto had tried to talk his commanders out of attacking the U.S. They didn't listen, and even though he knew it was a bad idea, he planned the Pearl Harbor attack for them. At the start of the war, he predicted that for the first 6 to 12 months, he'd win victory upon victory. But after that, he said he had no expectation of success. He was a smart man, and they never did find his body.